Good morning, Year 6. Um, hope you've had a good week. Um, some great news today. We have some students on site. Um, so this is our science block. And you can just see the sixth form block here. So we have some Year 12 students in having lessons this morning. And we also have some Year 10s over in the science block having some lessons this morning. Um, and so it's fantastic to have some noise uh, back on the, on the school site uh, for us today. A few things to show you today. We've actually opened our street kitchen, which you can just see just here. So I've got a picture of that, which I'll talk you through in a minute about the food that's available there. That's a grab and go service. So you just, um, at break time, lunch time, you can queue up uh, and just grab some hot food um, or some cold food and just go off uh, to have that. And that's as well as our, as our restaurant. So I'll talk through that a little bit more detail in the video uh, coming up today. Uh, thanks again for all the About Me pages that come on. Uh, coming in keep sending them through um, because I'm really enjoying reading really enjoying getting to know them so I've spent the last week uh, meeting with year six teachers again I've got lots booked in this week and the next week as well the plan is as still the same as that I'm going to get to meet all your teachers get to know a little bit more about you and then I'm going to start making the tutor groups uh, from there uh, I haven't decided to form tutors yet um, I'll be deciding that in the next week or two as well um, and so this first week or second week of July I plan to email your primary schools with the list of those that are in your tutor group from your schools I won't be able to let you know students from other schools that are in your tutor group but I'll be able to let you know and let you know who your form tutor in as well so we watch this space see if anything else changes but i'll keep you in the loop um, and so enjoy today's video question that's been coming this week is with regards to uniform uh, some of you asking where actually you buy it from um, the first thing i want to say is do not panic and worry about your uniform at this stage normally i wouldn't be giving the information about uniform to the last week of june after your induction days um, so we've got plenty of time there are three main places where it's sourced from and i'll talk that through in more detail um, with your mums and dads in the information pack which is so boring for you um, but really important uh, for your mums and dads to understand a little bit more. Um, the other question I always get every year, and I've already had it, is I know that uh, quite a few primary schools, boys are allowed to wear shorts, which look really, really smart. And the question that comes up is, can we or why can't we wear shorts at St Crispin's? One of the questions we have every year from Year 7 boys in particular is, uh, why can't we wear shorts? Um, this is why. Now, to reassure you, we have gone to the student council a number of times and asked about wearing shorts with the blazer, but the look hasn't gone down very well. Also, I can assure you that wearing grey shorts with a green blazer isn't quite 2020. Um, what I'm going to do is just talk you through the uniform. So, Louis, tell us about the boys. What should the boys be wearing for a uniform? I'll get out of the way. Um, okay, so for the boys' uniform, you have to wear a green blazer, and so you have to wear like a tie and then and then a white shirt which um and then you have to wear trousers as well like which are black and then you can wear um school shoes or you can wear like air forces which absolutely let's give a few of them so we've got the black leather air force ones there um which are available as school shoes as well so that's literally let's bring in the girls okay so come on in brooke tell us firstly brooke tell us about your badges what badges you got then um i'm in the eco team um, which is basically where you turn the lights off after school to save power and money and then I've also just got a poppy. A bit poppy there as well. Okay, so talk us through the girls' uniform. Okay, so for the girls' uniform you have to have um, a green blazer, a blouse, um, a grey skirt or grey trousers and then just normal school shoes. Excellent. And the blouse, do you want to just show the blouse, Brooke, as well to see how that is? Uh, because it's a three quarter length blouse, isn't it? Yeah. And um, so on the arms, so Brad Bruce is going to show the sunset in three quarters there. So we used to have ties for the girls, um, but we changed about five or six years ago uh, over to the blouses for those. So thank you chaps, hope that helps you a little bit more with knowing what the uniform looks like. I'm going to talk to you now um, about another uh, concern that's coming up. That's actually on one of the cards, one of the five, and that's bullying. Now, bullying, I'm afraid, is, is in our society, very, very sadly. Um, in, in, in every sort of area, um, in, in my place where mums and dads work, there'll be bullying that exists as well. Um, uh, bullying outside in the community and there'll be bullying uh, inside of schools. One thing I'll say to you, we do have bullying here at St Crispin's. 
okay? There is bullying at every single school in the country. It may look differently, but it occurs. The main reason for bullying that takes place is normally because of jealousy. Someone's jealous of someone else. Someone's jealous of what they've got. Or it's a feeling of power, of someone having control um, over someone else. What also happens with bullying, and I see this particularly amongst boys, is where boys have, you know, wicked sense of humour, as in great and funny sometimes, um, but sometimes not used in the right way. So where boys might be, um, you know, having a laugh with one another and teasing in some ways, they might see that as something called banter. Actually, it's not, it's stepped a line because you are hurting someone else. And how that person might portray in front of you, they might not look like they're upset about it. They might not laugh along. They might be laughing along with you. But inside, it's really hurting and it's really making a difference to that young person in terms of their happiness. So the key thing is, is how we tackle bullying. Now, I could sit here and talk to you about all the wonderful things we have in school, but that would be no different to anyone else. You know, that we have sit formers that can talk to you if you want to, that we have an opportunity for you to approach your form tutors, your heads of year, to talk to us if you have any problems. But something we have in this school is what's called a culture, okay? It's embedded across the school about respect and about looking after one another. I get where I hear about bullying, it's not normally straight away from the student who's feeling it, it's from friends. Because in this school, the friends want to look after one another. The friends want to make sure that their friends is happy and that they're being supported. So when they do come to me, it's something that we follow up straight away and take very, very seriously. With the bullies, a lot of work goes into that. Because what we want to do is understand why. Okay, It's very, very important that we understand why things are happening. Because if we don't, things could just reoccur or they could escalate or get worse. So we do a lot of work as looking why something's happening. And we do a lot of work actually with the bully as well, because we have to make sure that they understand what they're doing is wrong. Because if they go out into society, if they leave school at 16 or 18 and think that's appropriate, okay, they're gonna face a very difficult life ahead of them as well. Most importantly, obviously, is the work that we do with the victim of the bullying to raise their self-esteem, to raise their confidence and to raise their attitude of wanting to come back to school every day. And we do a lot of work with those young people as well. So there are a number of things in place to support you um, if you feel you are the victim of bullying. And the most important thing is to talk to us and talk it through with us as soon as possible. So um, this leak, as the video showed, uh, Wally was sitting over here. Oh, I'm hanging upside down today. Uh, was over here in Drama Studio One. So um, drama is part of your curriculum uh, and that's where you have some of your lessons. This week, we have a new Wally. Where is he now? <laughs>